You're watching your Fast Life Motorcycle channel. This is breaking news regarding the Yamaha R1 and R1M as well as sales of the Kawasaki Ninja H2 and Ninja H2R. Twenty fifteen YZF R one and the R one M. And you're watching your fast life, which is brought to you by Eurosports.net. They have a massive selection of European bikes. They got electric bikes there, touring bikes, sport bikes. They even have a super legera. This is your fast life at the 2015 DC International Motorcycle Show. So first, let's start off things with the Yamaha R1 and R1M. For 2015, there is a pending recall on those motorcycles. Now, this information is coming from asphaltandrubber.com. So I cannot confirm this information directly from Yamaha. Obviously, we want to hear what Yamaha has to say about this. The source listed by Asphalt Rubber asphaltandrubber.com is both and spies but again i prefer to confirm details directly from the source rather than third party so, so the third party so i cannot confirm that this is in fact true but asphalt and rubber is saying this and the information that they are saying is that again the 2015 yamaha r1 and r1m are both being recalled the reasons are Quote unquote, second gear wheel and pinions, which might break under extremely high stress and or improper shifting. They're also indicating issues with the third and fourth gears, which may become deformed or break. All right, so what's the bottom line here? The bottom line is it looks like there's a possibility that later this week, you guys, Yamaha R1 and R1M, Riders are going to be getting a notification from Yamaha indicating that your bike needs to be recalled because this is limited to certain VIN numbers. So the question is, do you have one of the bikes that are in this bad batch of bikes that needs to be recalled? And the other question is, why would there only be certain bikes that are affected by this? Was there a design change in the process of building this bike? Because again, they've designed this bike to be a certain way why would some bikes be affected and some bikes not be affected now that's normally something where you have a, a manufacturing defect for example right so you have a bunch of parts that were manufactured using defective equipment and all those all, all those pieces of equipment that were manufactured with that defective equipment need to be recalled because of that defect so that's a bad batch but they are saying that the recall is gonna the recall of only certain bikes is gonna be involving uh, using a different design design right so why is it that these bikes need a different design and the other bikes don't right I mean that, that that you know just think about this logically the only reason that the other bikes would not need to be recalled means that they have a superior design which is not affected by this particular problem however they were manufactured works and they are not afraid of having this issue which means that some Yamaha R1Ms were designed differently from others now I'm not saying that as fact I'm just logical deduction here so clearly we need to get some more information about what this is all about because something is not quite adding up so I'm not really sure uh, what this is all about why again the design change so anyway moving on Kawasaki fans you have a uh, well you've dreaming <laughs> you've been dreaming about getting a Kawasaki Ninja H2 and Ninja H2R well here's your chance so Kawasaki just recently introduced the availability of the Ninja H2 and the Ninja H2R. So there is going to be a limited period of time where you can actually purchase one of these bikes and the period ends next month. So if you've been dreaming about getting one of these bikes, you need to act now because they're gonna be cutting it off yet again. So they're keeping the limited availability of these bikes. Not as limited as people may have thought, but then again, we don't even know, or I don't know, how many of these bikes are even out there. How many Ninja H2s and Ninja H2Rs are actually out there on the street? How many owners are there? Does anyone have any idea how many of these bikes? I know of only a handful of these bikes. Obviously, I'm not going to know every single bike that's been sold, but how many are out there? Because it could be that it actually is extremely... Uh, rare, which maintains the, the value of the bike. 
but it really, really depends on the sales numbers, which I don't have access to. Let's take a look. The 2016 Ninja H2 and H2R are certainly limited release motorcycles. The H2R will be sold on a first come, first serve basis through Kawasaki's customer order program by placing a deposit at Kawasaki dealers. The customer order program has begun. It began three days ago on November 16th and it will end on December 11th. So we ask you, the media, to get the word out that this bike is available right now. You must place your order between now and December 11th to get one. The MSRP of this motorcycle will be $53,000. And the deposit, I believe, is a 10% deposit uh, to the dealer. The Ninja H2, which is over here on my left, uh, will be also $1,000. And the deposit, I believe, is a 10% deposit uh, to the dealer. The Ninja H2, which is over here on my left, uh, will be also a limited release motorcycle, but it is a dealer order program, which means that the dealers have already placed their order. Those dealers that have a unit, you can go ahead and walk in and, and buy the motorcycle just like normal. Special thanks to Those Motorcycle Extremist, one of my top subscribers, to the for and we'll have to find one on in the United States uh, for uh, that consumer. M, if you have any news scoops that you want to send me, Definitely go to the channel page, go to the about page, and you can send me a message there. Also, you can reach me at Twitter at Carlisle's Picks. Also, I'm on Instagram at Carlisle's Picks. I'm also looking to feature as many of my subscribers as possible on the channel. I've already featured awesome people like Chris Carter. What's up, Chris Carter? Um, and others. AK Deluxe Rider, I haven't seen you in a while. Where are you, buddy? Um, but he was definitely featured on the channel as well. And I want to feature as many of you guys as possible. Remember, this is all about community. And uh, um, I want to interact with you guys as much as possible. I want you guys on the channel. It's not just me giving you videos and news and stuff like that. I want to feature you guys on the channel as well, help you guys to grow your channels. And obviously, the top subscribers are going to get the most of that. That's my uh, return to you. Like, we're actually going to be helping out motorcycle extremists. That's going to be coming up pretty soon. We're going to pick out some uh, luggage for his, uh, his bike. I believe it's SV650. And um, we're going to do a video about that as well. So stay tuned for that. This is your Fast Life Motorcycle channel. I got some more stuff coming up as well. Let's take a look. So I'm going to give you a quick sneak peek at some stuff that I have coming up. Here are some of the videos from the Long Beach International Motorcycle Show. So BMW is the most awesome company out there. And our bikes are amazing. And uh, for 2016, we're going to be doing amazing things. And uh, uh, take a look at this bike here and this other bike. And uh, we also have a new uh, XR and the, the BMW S1000 R is an amazing bike and blah, 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 blah. Come on, BMW. Who else, who else do we have here? I was going to play. Actually, I already recorded this with the with them talking, but it's so like, you know, blah, 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 mumble, mumble. I can't really hear what they're saying. Um, not picking on BMW, just in general. I don't know what it is with a lot of these motorcycle companies, the presenters, man. Wow. I, I've seen some really, really bad presentations from uh, some of these motorcycle manufacturers. And I don't know what it is, but it's, it's not just this industry, though. I've seen that also uh, in Marine as well. I have a Marine channel, and um, I've, I've done some interviews with people talking about $3 million yachts, and they look like they're bored. I'm just like, are you kidding me? Like, how are you going to sell a $3 million yacht to me, and you look like you're ready to go to sleep? I mean, no enthusiasm, nothing. I just, I don't know. I, I think it's, it's probably a result of this economy, this Yamaha stuff, by the way, which I thought was funny, the scrambler logo in the background of the Yamaha booth there. I mean, the boots are all next to each other. It's just, it's just interesting. It's like, right, it's like their wall. They have a scrambler wall in their booth, it looks like. And then you got KTM in the back. Uh, but anyway, I think it's maybe a result of the economy. So you have people that are doing multiple jobs type of thing. So maybe back in the day, you'd hire someone who specifically is all about doing presentations and, and that's the, their skill set. So they do great jobs. Here, you have a guy who's doing sales, he's doing presentations, he's doing this, he's doing that. He's also the CEO, <laughs> you know. So, you know, we, 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 we pay the price for this kind of stuff, you know. So uh, that's just how it is.
But uh, regardless of the reasoning behind it, I mean, it just really sucks, you know, when you're trying to watch these presentations and just putting you to sleep. Well, that's why you have your fast life, right? Um, but unfortunately, there's so many bikes. I mean, these guys, they work for Yamaha. All they have to do is learn Yamaha bikes, which there's a lot of, there's a lot of Yamaha bikes. But for me, I'm doing Yamaha, Honda, Kawasaki, Suzuki. You know, there's a lot of bikes, man. But um, I try my best to keep you guys entertained when I do, do my coverage. It looks nice. I like that. Honda! Honda, Honda, Honda! Six foot four Honda! Uh, yeah. So we got some Honda bikes. Some more Honda bikes. Speaking of which, I got a video coming up pretty soon with uh, one of my subscribers who's going to show his Honda Grom. So stay tuned for that. There's the Ducati 959 Panigale. All right, guys. This video is running long enough. You are watching your Fast Life Motorcycle Channel. This is, this is, oh, man. You are watching your Fast Life Motorcycle Channel doing it live. So uh, there's no, no, no editing here. And uh, this has been a... Oh man, breaking news on the Yamaha R1 R1M recall and also the sales of the Kawasaki Ninja H2 and H2R. Stay tuned for more coverage for them from the 2015 International Motorcycle Show. We're going to be going to New York, that's official. Discount codes are in my latest video on Carlisle's Picks, my Carlisle's Picks channel. Latest video about the show has a discount code. If you're going to the IMS show, definitely check that out. I'm still trying to get free tickets for you guys. Uh, um, that's pending, but the discount codes are available. So go ahead and buy your tickets now to go to the IMS International Motorcycle Show. And on that note, I'm out. Yay, yay! I don't know what's wrong with me tonight.